Hello! Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how I make my strawberry jam. Now, uh, the other day I picked pounds and pounds, loads and loads of uh, strawberries. Um, there's only a certain amount that you can eat before you do tend to get a little bit fed up with them. Um, and one of the best ways to preserve them is to make strawberry jam. Now, homemade strawberry jam is so much better than the shop stuff. Um, in my opinion, short strawberry jam should have chunks in of chunks of strawberries and that's what mine has. Now this isn't my recipe because I am not that good. I have taken this recipe from Delia Smith's um, Complete Cookery Course. Um, I've used this uh, recipe before um, and it's absolutely brilliant. Um, I did, if you um, saw the Seville Orange Marmalade, I took that from her book as well. Um, I love Delia, I think she's fabulous. So, all you need to make some strawberry jam is the following. Four pounds of strawberries, three pounds of granulated sugar, two large lemons because you need the juice from those and half an ounce or 10 grams of butter or soft margarine. So let's get ready and let's make some strawberry jam. Right now this is a preserving pan. You need what they class as a non-reactive uh, preserving pan. Um, I use this whenever I make jams or chutneys, it's brilliant. You can you can buy them in most places, okay? Make sure you get a good quality one which is thick and sturdy and then it'll last. Now I've got four pounds of strawberries in here. I've um, taken the green bit off them which is called hulling. Uh, so you take the green bit and if in here is a bit tough then you can pop that out as well um, sometimes if they're quite small um, or they're really really fresh you tend not to have a hard bit in there so you don't need to take them out now if you have some really big strawberries then I would suggest cutting them in half or maybe in a quarter don't cut them too small because when they're cooking they will break down a little bit more and when you have finished with your jam when your jam is ready um, you don't want to um, have it pureed you want chunks in there okay so just go through your strawberries and just cut them um, if you have one that's sort of about that size, that's absolutely fine. So, you know, they don't have to be exactly the same size as each other, just a rough guide. So I'll start chopping some of these and I will come back to you in a minute. Right, well we're over on the hob now. When you've chopped up your, uh, your strawberries, uh, then move the pan over to the hob. Put it on a very low heat and what we have to do is we have to then very slowly um, add some sugar okay just a little bit give it a quick stir don't stir strawberry jam too much otherwise you'll break the strawberries down more than you would like to okay so we'll just mix that in and we'll let the heat come to the strawberries and in a few minutes they'll start to bubble and they'll start to soften and then we can add a little bit more sugar. Now when um, B before you actually start cooking your strawberries um, you need to make sure that you preserve your um, pans so you need to make sure that sorry sterilize your pans so there are various ways of doing that you can do them in the oven you can do them with boiling water you can do them in the dishwasher there are all sorts of different ways of doing them <clears throat> um, I personally uh, put boiling water in mine um, leave them for a good 45 minutes to an hour and then tip the water away and that's usually absolutely fine. Now when you um, do wash your strawberries before you put them in here make sure you cut any bad bits off because the bad bits will make the jam go bad um, so we only want the best strawberries in the jam. 
if you end up eating a few as you go along so be it right now the sugar is starting to melt very very slowly the juice is coming out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more sugar don't add it all in one go add a little bit and then stir it wait for that to dissolve and then um, put a little bit more in okay that way <clears throat> oh, excuse me that way all the sugar um, will dissolve beautifully and it won't then crystallize uh, when the jam's in the jar so I'll just keep doing this keep adding the sugar and I will come back to you when I put the last bit in okay so I'm going to add the last bit of sugar stir it in and when the last bit of sugar is in what you need to do is you need to add the juice of two lemons pour that in because that helps um, helps them set uh, because strawberries are very low in pectin and pectin is the thing that makes the jam set so um, you can either buy jam sugar which actually is very very expensive or you can do what I'm doing and use granulated sugar and lemon juice it actually works out cheaper so give that a stir make sure all the sugar is dissolved so scrape down anything that's left on the side of the pan like this okay test that the sugar has dissolved by doing the back of the spoon and very carefully remember it's going to be hot running your finger along now I can't feel any lumps so it's all done and what we need to do now is we need to turn it on high heat and let it come to a boil right now that it's come to a boil what we need to do is we need to keep it on a boil they call it a rolling boil which is a fast boil and we need to boil it for eight minutes so let me start my timer now whilst that is on its eight minutes rolling boil what you need to do is you need to get a little plate you need to pop it in the fridge so that the plate gets nice and cold because after the eight minutes what we've got to do is we've got to do the crinkle test which I will explain about when we do it don't worry about all this foam on the top strawberry jam does tend to get quite a lot of foam on the top don't worry about that um, we will sort that out later on and if any of it doesn't go then we can always spoon it off but I will show you that when we come to it so I will leave that to boil and I will be back with you soon right there goes the eight minutes so turn the jam off okay and now we've got to do the crinkle test so I'll just go and get the plate now this plate has been in the fridge it's nice and cold okay and all we do now is we get some of the jam and we put it on the plate like this and we will put this back in the fridge for about three or four minutes right now I've just taken this out of the fridge the jam is cold now okay so let's do the crinkle test you have to push the jam with your finger if it creates a crinkle and doesn't fall back then it's set if it doesn't if it does fall back hang on let's try that again I think I got confused now here's the jam I've just taken it out of the fridge it's been in there for about three or four minutes the jam is now cold and what we need to do now is the crinkle test you have to push the jam not the strawberries but the jam away from your finger if it crinkles and it stays where you've pushed it when you take your finger away it means that the jam is set if it runs straight back then it's not set so let's give this a go ah now that falls straight back so that is not ready yet so what we'll do is we'll put this back into the preserving pan and we will boil it for another three or four minutes and then we will try this process again now when you're testing your jam you must remember that you have to turn your jam off 
The reason for doing that is because if the jam that you're testing is set, if it boils for too long, then it will get too hard and you won't be able to spread it. So that's why you turn it all off, let it, you know, sort of settle down a bit. And then you, um, if it's not set, your little test piece, then you boil it back up again. So I'll just wait for this to get to a rolling boil, a fast boil again, and then I will set the timer for about four minutes. Right, now I'm going to uh, try the crinkle test on this. I have boiled it another four times for four minutes. Okay, uh, strawberry jam can be very tricky sometimes, so just be patient with it. So I'll push it and hopefully, can you see that there is a crinkle there? Which means that it is done. And if I tip it, it will fall back slowly but not really really quickly so that's just done so um, I'm going to lick my finger because mm, it tastes really nice and there's one more thing that we need to do before we jar it okay so I'll just put this back in here okay because we don't want to waste it Oops. and you may well see and hopefully you can that there's quite a lot of scum here strawberry jam does tend to get quite a bit of scum so what you need to do is you need to put about a half an ounce of butter in uh, just stir that round and that will melt in and that will help disperse most of the scum if you do find that you still have some left after um, the butter has melted um, and just before you're about to um, jar it up then just use a slotted spoon just to get rid of the last few bits um, I think I most probably will have to do that because there are still some lumps of scum and you clearly don't want the scum in your nice new jam so the scum will actually float to the top so it's easy to find all right now that butter has um, dissolved in there and what we need to do now is we need to leave this to sit um, off the heat and to cool down just a little bit for about 15 minutes and then we'll jar it up. If you don't leave it to sit, then if you pour it straight in the jars now, what will happen is all the fruit will rise to the top and all the liquid will go down to the bottom. Um, and you'll end up, when, once you've sort of had the first little section of, of the, the top of the jam, um, then you won't have any strawberry chunks down there. So leaving it to cool helps it to, helps the fruit to um, be distributed uh, more evenly throughout the jam. So I'll just leave that and then I'll jar it up. Um, I won't show you that because jarring up jam is a bit boring, um, but I will show you um, my little jars of jam when they're all labelled and ready. Right, so there we are. One, two, three, four, five and a half or just over jars of strawberry jam. That's from that one batch. I've got to do another one now, so I better get on with it. Anyway, I will see you soon. Bye bye.